I think for federalism, uh, it, it, it um, addresses issues at different levels. No? First of all, it's administrative, which is a practical, you know, uh, the nature of the country is archipelagic and it's multi, actually multilingual, multicultural. So uh, it's, it's more logical to actually have an administrative setup that is federal in character. The other one uh, actually goes into more on the, the issue of limited sovereignty. It actually gives the sense of ownership uh, to the population of the states or regions that are involved, that are actually, you know, de facto right now the different regions of the country. But eventually it could either go, you know, as few as Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, or, or maybe as many as 8 to 12 uh, different states, mm -hmm. no, depending on their maybe their linguistic or uh, or economic or practical uh, mm. reasons for coming together. Um, and I think it will solve a lot of what, what we've seen uh, that has come out of having two uh, Manila-centric mm -hmm. uh, development, mm -hmm. the so-called Imperial Manila. Mm. So the Imperial Manila concept is not something that just sort of just happened and you could sort of live with. Right. The problem with Imperial Manila mm -hmm. is that it, it disenfranchises or marginalizes the whole country mm -hmm. and leaves this sort of center where everyone is trying to everyone is trying to conquer and trying to be at. So you have you overpopulate it and, and then it, it ends up becoming inefficient and mm -hmm. corrupt. Right. Um, and it's still trying to dictate everything to the rest of the country. So if you want a real nation that, that, that moves, that can function internationally, you have to, I think, you know, divide it, but divide it in a way that keeps things together. So historically, it is those countries that have federalized or are federal countries that have managed to stay together mm -hmm. or, or struggle to, to put it together. Right. Those that are unitary, mm -hmm. that's where a lot of tension happens. Mm -hmm. But for us, it's particularly important, again, because Manila has grown too big. Right. Um, it, it will improve the relationship among the different peoples mm -hmm. of the Philippines mm -hmm. and actually enhance the, the unity of right. the country. Okay. Yes. Um, oh. Well, I think it's not exactly a, a numbers game where you have to have like the majority of the population uh, actually understanding and and and, and, um, uh, uh, and advocating uh, federalism. But certainly, there has to be some kind of consensus. Uh, even the consensus that something is wrong, that something has to be done in an important way. You know? um, and that's why I'd like to think of you know, I think of countries that have actually. Uh, gone from unitary to significantly like, like uh, Germany mm -hmm. uh, after World War II was dominated by the Nazis mm -hmm. because it was a unitary mm -hmm. like, like the Philippines mm -hmm. is now. It's so easy to dominate. Mm -hmm. you know, for, um, so the Nazi party was able to dominate and then Hitler took over. Yeah. So the solution after the war was really to federalize mm -hmm. that, that went from unitary to federal. Uh, and then if you're going to look at other models, I mean, just look at you know, all of these countries with, uh, with federal systems. Yeah. You see that they, uh, they've been thriving mm -hmm. and that they've been able to sort of balance and spread the wealth. So that's, in the end, it's really about restructuring. Um, I think it is a consensus that now has to be taken up by those who have the uh, the ability to make decisions towards it. Maybe that's why uh, it would be good to have, uh, I guess, those who have been thinking about it, have been studying it well, to be engaged you know, in the discussion on what kind of model of federalism. In the end, federal systems are as many or as numerous as each country that has a federal system. 
So it's it's wrong to say that ah you know you, it has to be the American model mm. or the German model. It has to be the Philippine model, mm. you know, unique to the Philippines and especially for the Philippines. Uh, but we should stop thinking about why it can't work mm -hmm. and think of how we can make it work. In the end, that's I think the mindset that really has to be that has to be changed. And definitely, things have to change and has to be done ASAP. Okay, so that's uh, Sir Tonya. But salamat po, sir. Thank you.